Hello! In this episode of Tint TV, we'll be cutting a template for a Ferrari, looking at film failure on flat glass, telling warranty war stories, and getting hot for heat guns. I'm Lawrence Strydell, and this is TintTV.com, the web TV show for the window film industry. This episode is brought to you by 44tools.com, the tint tool provider used by our shops and our guys, and by solave.com forward slash superphone. To inquire about becoming a dealer just like us, click on our link. Today's interesting installation is going to be on a 1988 328 Ferrari GTS. We'll be using Laminex Clear 40 to make a headlight protection kit for the fog lights of this Ferrari. The client has informed us that the lower fog lights of his car frequently get broken from road debris. The fog lights of this car are pretty much non-existent, and if you're lucky enough to locate just one of these glass replacement fog lights, it could cost you thousands of dollars. A protective urethane film, like this one, is a great solution to protect these lights. Instead of using 12 mil film, use the Lamin X40. Something that makes this film extra durable is its thickness. The Laminex film is about the same thickness of a nickel or 1 16th of an inch. In addition to the thickness, this film is great for flat surface lights because it doesn't mold easily. However, you wouldn't want to use these films on any other curved light surfaces. Of course, you can hand cut this film, but if you have a computer cut window film plotter or another type of film plotter, you can simply change the settings on the blade to do the cut for you. At our shop, we did not have the required template for this Ferrari model in our computer cut plotting program. Since we didn't have the template, I had to hand cut the film however. I was careful not to cut on the Ferrari itself. Instead, I had to trace out the outline for the template and then cut out the template while off the Ferrari. In order to properly mount the template, I had to use a mounting solution called Expel Mounting Gel, which gives it slip and activates the adhesive. Okay, now let's check out the rest of this interesting installation. On today's segment of Ask the Master, we are going to answer a commonly asked question of, does vinyl have a memory? And absolutely it does. When vinyl is heat treated during the printing process, the heat used to cure the ink also heats up the vinyl or the printing surface as well as the underlying adhesive. And if this film is rolled up right away, it will cause it to have a memory. My installation company had a case of serious film memory rollback when we installed a printed vinyl for a restaurant's outside windows. A couple of days after installation, we were asked to return to fix some bubbling of the film. We took a look at the film and realized that somebody with no tinting experience had tried to fix a film rollback. At this point, we couldn't save the film. There were simply too many creases and too much bubbling. It was determined that the film had been sitting in the box for three months and a rollback memory had formed. The film's retained memory snapped it back into place, causing the film to roll off the window. The only solution was to order new vinyl for installation and to remove the failed film. This project took around four hours to complete, with most of the labor going towards film removal. The end result has been a great advertisement for this restaurant, so yummy. In this week's Tool Time for Tinners, let's get hot for heat guns. There are several companies that specialize in window tint tools. You can also purchase window tint tools from window film manufacturers. When I called Jesse at 44tools.com, he was more than helpful in providing me with information about the differences between the heat guns. 
I asked him what the difference was between a more expensive heat gun and a less expensive heat gun. And it turns out that if you accidentally drop the heat guns, there is no difference. The components inside either of these can easily break. The real difference is in how much heat the heat gun can produce, with a higher quality heat gun having additional settings than a lower quality heat gun, which really just has a high and low. Why is this important? Because some films need more heat than others. A ceramic film, for instance, needs less heat than a single ply dyed film. Another difference in the heat guns would be the heating elements inside, with a more expensive heat gun's heating elements lasting longer than a less expensive. I know that this is true in my shop, where I was going from burning a heat gun out every couple of weeks to now having them last at least six months. Only you, however, can determine the difference um, between the heat guns and what you should purchase. For instance, are you on a budget? How many cars do you do? And what types of films are you installing? And that's been my Tool Time Tip for Tinters. On today's film finances, let's talk about warranty work. We all hate it when warranty work comes in, but this is a great opportunity to make a client happy. Studies have shown that when a client has an issue resolved, they are happier than when a client has had no problem to fix at all. So take this opportunity to not only get a new cheerleader from a client, but also maybe to make some more money. Let's see how this works. When an automotive film warranty comes in, it's easy to say something like, I'll take care of this issue for you right away. You know, while you're here, did you want to add that sunstrip you were thinking about last time? Or you could say something like, how about this detailer? It would be perfect for your car. And while I'm back there fixing the film, did you want me to apply it for you? So you can make a customer happy and possibly make some more money. If it's a home warranty and you're at the customer's home, it's easy to say something like, I know you take pride in your home just like I take pride in my work. So thanks for calling me to fix this problem. You know, while I'm here, did you want to add those windows in the other room that you were thinking of last time? I already have the film out. I could knock off a couple of bucks to make it worth your while. So take warranties as an opportunity to make a client happy and make some more money. Thanks for watching this episode and please support our sponsors. Join us in two weeks where we literally watch a client get in the way of a job and you'll get to meet two people in our industry who understand how to do the job right and make the client smile. I'm Lawrence Stridell and this is TintTV.com, the web TV show for the window film industry.